we have a lot of D4 news that we need to cover. So without further ado, I kind of just wanted to quickly go over everything that really has transpired over the last three or four days. And I'm getting inundated questions about all these different topics regarding D4. And I also want to cover uh, something in reference to Xbox and their Game Pass and D4, which we'll talk about after this segment. But we're going to cover and I'm going to go through all the latest events that's going on in Diablo 4. And then after that, I'll come back and give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Without further ado, here's all the news this week regarding D4. Xbox and Pez Radar both announced basically Xbox Game Pass on X tweeted that Diablo 4 is coming to the Xbox Game Pass on March 28th. And then Pez Radar jumped in and reposted it. So Diablo 4 will be available on the Xbox Game Pass come March 28th. Regarding Xbox, there was a recent Xbox podcast where Phil Spencer, Sarah Bond, and Matt Booty shared and gave the podcast an update on everything Xbox. Part of that podcast was Phil Spencer addressing the rumor about their games being exclusive. And there was a rumor going around that they were now going to be allow their games to be played on different consoles. Well, Phil addressed that in the most recent Xbox podcast, and he basically said the following. But we've we've had some unforeseen news that has come out. So let's just go and, and tackle the exclusivity question, because I know it's on the minds of a lot of people. We hear from the community, and that's an important input for us. So we made the decision that we're gonna take four games to the other consoles, um, just four games, not a change to our kind of fundamental exclusive strategy. Uh, it is, we're making these decisions for some specific reasons. Um, we make every decision really with the long-term health of Xbox in mind. Um, and long-term health of Xbox means a growing platform, our games performing, building the best platform for creators, um, reaching as many players as we can. We're always looking to learn as a leadership team um, and to grow, and we think this is an interesting point in time for us to use what some of the other platforms have right now um, to help grow our franchises, so we're gonna do that. Getting back to Diablo 4, Pez Radar tweeted and gave us an update on the, when we can expect the next Campfire chat, and the tweet re reads as follows. Next week, we will be announcing a date and time for our Campfire chat that will fully focus on showcasing the gauntlet and our mid-season updates. The mid-season update will bring lots of class updates and will be in the same update as the gauntlet. Regarding the gauntlet, apparently there has been a new, new, new date. The date floating around is February 27th. I read an article on uh, Game Leap and they have an image showing that the gauntlet is coming February 27th. In that article, they make reference to the fact that although there has been no official announcement, if you go on the Diablo news page and you go into the season three area, this is a, what it shows. And I always like to validate what I am reading. And I personally myself went on the Diablo four news section in season three and my page still shows this. Now, I have heard other people mentioning February 27th as the gauntlet date, but, and I am not saying that is not the date, but there has been no official announcement, at least from what I, I have not been able to find it. And this is what the current page shows up on the Blizzard website in reference to the gauntlet. It still says compete in the gauntlet coming soon. However, if if February 27th is the date, as we all know, and as I predicted, and I'm not the only one, many people predicted this. Of course, we all suspected that Diablo 4's 
Gauntlet was going to be released around the same time last Epoch's drop of 1.0. So February 27th is the date. That is six days after last Epoch launches 1.0, giving players a predicament that wanted to try last Epoch and do want to play D4. So no surprise here. Only time will tell. So we have a campfire chat that's going to be announced sometime next week. Obviously, we don't know the date of that campfire chat. We'll learn that next week. And for some more Diablo 4 news, probably what's going to be the most famous mount in Diablo 4 history is the latest announcement of a mount called Vitreous Scourge. <laughs> this mount was announced in Diablo 4 as part of the ARPG Games Patch 1.32 update. And the Vitreous Scourge is a crystal encrusted horse that Diablo 4 describes as having developed its glittering, glittering hide as the result of a terrible disease spreading throughout Sanctuary. I wonder what that terrible disease is. Maybe greed? In order to buy this shiny horse, guys, you'll need to purchase the Vitreous Scourge pack from Blizzard Storefront or the shop within the game. The bundle comes with the mount, its crystal and bone cage armor, two mount trophies, and 7,000 platinum in-game currency. This illustrious mount costs $64.99 USD. It is worth noting, may I add, that that price is higher than the base game, which is currently on sale for $41.99 USD right now. And even the Ultimate Edition is cheaper at $59.99. Wow. Imagine that. Wow. It's been a pretty busy week. And I even have more information, but one is a legal issue, which... Uh, just came to my attention and I, I didn't even want to mention it, but it may or may not be something that I'll address later on in another video, just because I don't have enough information and I don't like talking about things when I don't have all the information. Um, so stay tuned for that. However, um, so regarding the mount, what are you going to do guys? Like they're in the business to make money. And although from aesthetics viewpoint i don't think it's a good look no one can argue that but at the end of the day they're a business they can do whatever they want and really they're not forcing you to buy the mount so you don't have to buy the mount it's not impacting you at all unless you decide to buy the mount um i know i won't i would never spend that kind of money on cosmetics however it is what it is guys what are you gonna do also regarding the rumors about you know, Xbox allowing its games to be played on other consoles, which of course all Xbox console owners and Game Pass players were very upset at this and they got a lot of backlash. Now, whether or not that changed their decision, we now know through the social media and, and the Xbox podcast that Phil Spencer has conferred that there are gonna be four xbox titles and he wouldn't state which four uh during the podcast nor can i find any information online about it there are no uh sorry there are four xbox games that will be published on other consoles um so it's going to be interesting to see i think this is the first step for them to be able to put their games everywhere and they do want i get the sense that that's what they want um, they want their games in as many uh screens as possible and he's even during the podcast if you watch it and i'll put a link of the video in the description and you can watch the xbox in full uh, for yourself if you want he he does allude to the fact that 
if they think putting a game that is kind of not stagnant, but if there's an opportunity to grow that game and grow that audience um, by putting it on other consoles and therefore more screens, then they're going to consider it. Um, so four titles, Xbox titles are going to be available on other consoles. Uh, we're going to find out more about that later on. So it's going to be interesting to see which four. Of course, as I said earlier, Diablo 4 is now going to be on Xbox Game Pass March 28th. And guys, this is just a move. Look, at the end of the day, the Game Pass is a subscription based. And the more product on the Game Pass, the more subscriptions, hopefully, Xbox will get. That's the rationale behind it. So that's a, a, a no brainer. Now you have to understand, apparently Xbox has like really high ambitious goals. So they want to get, have their own store um, and they want to compete this store. They want to compete with the Googles and the Apples, right? It's all about screens, getting your product and as many screens, which means as many people. Um, so these these are steps that Xbox Xbox Microsoft sorry is taking in order to get there. Now, obviously, Apple and Google who dominate that space and the apps that go it, you know, they purposely block the Xbox app from being loaded on their screens, and you have to go through the back. There are backdoor ways of making it work. Uh, obviously, Apple and Google are going to be very interested to see how this um, uh, evolves because obviously Apple and Google do not want to give up their dominance in that in, in the app market and in and, and that in that industry. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that works out. So enough about uh, Microsoft. Uh, it's getting back to Diablo 4. So Adam Fletcher announced um, that next week we're going to get an update on the next campfire chat and it is focused on the gauntlet and mid-season updates. And uh, the mid-season update is going to bring a lot of information in reference to class updates. And there's going to be an update on the gauntlet. Okay. So they are going to announce next week that when the campfire chat is going to happen. So then next week is the week of the 19, 20, 21, 22, right? So they're going to announce next week. So you would think if the February 27th date, the gauntlet is the date, then you would suspect that we'll probably have a campfire chat a couple of days or the day before the gauntlet. If the 27th is the date, and it looks like that is the date that the gauntlet is going to come out. Um, and of course, surprise, surprise, it's six days after last epoch launches 1.0 surprise, surprise. Uh, so anyway, very interesting to see that campfire chat. Look, the way things are going, every campfire chat from here on in is going to be epic just with the storm of negativity with this game. So it's going to be very interesting what they say and what they do. It is, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable what's happening. I've never seen this is a low of lows right now. Now forget about Diablo 4 for for Activision Blizzard King. It's just there's they can't do anything right. Never seen before. Unbelievable. Really really interesting times. Um so we'll wait and see to see what happens. Anyway, I just wanted to share with everyone kind of like what's been happening the last 3 or 4 days. I'm getting asked all the time. I got people coming in my stream trying to troll me with Diablo 4 stuff. And, you know, like this is just kind of the environment right now where everyone is, you're either a fanboy or you're a hater. There's no in between. And I got to be honest with you, everyone, that's kind of sad. It really is sad. Can we not just enjoy games? And if someone doesn't like the game you're playing, so what? As long as you're enjoying the game, what's the problem? And to be honest with you, what's wrong with all the games being good? Why can't we cheer for that? I want Diablo 4 to be a great game. I want Last Epoch to be a great game. 
I want Path of Exile to be a great game. And on and on and on and on. Why? Because I want to have three, four, five games that I love and want to play. Because I need, I create content and I stream every night. Um, so it, I love having variety and games that I'm looking forward to playing. So why can't we all have that mindset? Let's all cheer for all the games. It's easy. I think we should all want all games to be great. And then individually, they can pick whatever games they want to play because everyone's different. Not everybody likes PoE. Not everybody likes Last Epoch. Not everybody likes Diablo 4, but they might like Last Epoch. Mm -hmm. People might not like, like Last Epoch and like Diablo 4. So why wouldn't we want all the games that are out there to be great so we have more options? It'll be fun for everybody. So can we get off this hate, whatever side of the fence you're on with these games. It's ridiculous. Come on. All the games should be great. We should all support them as long as they're not doing anything illegal and they're not robbing us, then we should support them. And if they do do that kind of stuff, then don't support them. It's that simple. Black and white as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, get off my soapbox. Just wanted to share everything that's been going on this week and um, yeah, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.